I'm just going to go through a couple of questions with you and uh, it'll be quick and painless. So Ryan, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. So my name is Ryan Levin. I've um, been in e-commerce since about 2016. Um, I started selling online when I was in high school. I found Amazon. I put up ads on all my local uh, telephone poles in my town, buying everybody's iPods, iPhones, iPads, MacBook. And then I would resell them online on Amazon at the time. So when I, when I went to college, when I was 16, 17 years old, I, I probably amassed, I did amass just over a hundred grand, which was nuts. So that got me into entrepreneurship and kind of showed me what is possible with the online space. And for the next few years, trying to figure out how I can really step things up, you know, I stumbled and tripped and fell. And then a group of a few of my best friends from high school and middle school and some guys that we met in college started accidentally an e-commerce incubator. And we rented out a, a big house outside of Philadelphia. We put 10, 12 kids into it. Everybody had a laptop and it was just, just grind all day and night, Shopify, Facebook ads, email, SMS marketing, whatever we had to do to drive revenue. Since we didn't have a ton of money at the time, it was most important for us to make profit on the acquisition. So that really helped us from a sense because we had to then be the best at what we do because we had to be profitable on day one. So fast forward to now, I've taken everything that I've learned there, applied it over to Checkout Champ, building out membership funnels. And yeah, it took my, once I joined with Checkout Champ, it took the business from one to 2 million a year. And now we're on a trajectory to definitely smash past that at better profit margins than I ever would have dreamed on just a straight sale model. Fantastic. So let's talk about the company a little bit. Well, let me back up. It almost sounds like you had a Silicon Valley type setup with all these computer it was guys. Crazy. It was crazy. It was it was a few of my best friends from childhood and then guys that we met in college and other friends that wanted to get into e-commerce. And we packed everybody into this freaking house that we that wanted to join and wanted to learn. And it was just day and night, 24-7, just e-commerce total. We accidentally made an incubator. And it was the greatest thing that ever could have happened. If I had to choose between an MBA and that experience, I would have taken that experience every single time because everybody was working on something different. Every night, everybody would meet up, meet up. And this guy figured out a little hack on Facebook that could, it was a little retargeting hack. This guy figured out a, a way better way to run email. So we were just learning in hyperspeed. And it was also the most fun thing. I have, that ever happened. Wow. That's a, that sounds like a blast. All right. So let's talk about your company a little bit and the types of products you sell. You don't have to be specific if you don't want to, but just give us an overview of. Yeah. So I'm in the apparel and jewelry space, lower ticket, average order value for most stores between 30 to $60. So yeah, it's just low price point items. High volume is what we focus on. Apparel stores, everybody knows, kind of a lower hanging fruit because it's not very hard to create designs. Get, get a company like Printify or a 3PO in your area and launch collections on that. So I've I've moved over to jewelry and home decor items. And if, if people research into top niches and industries right now for e-commerce sellers, jewelry, beauty, fashion, home decor are all at the top. Interesting. Very interesting. And how long has that business been in, in existence? So I've I've been in the same niche since 2017, which is nature, mountains, stuff like that. Like a North Face type company. I, I basically looked at them and was like, why are they successful? And how can I replicate that, but make it less corporate? And I've just been running with that nature, mission-based, driven community store since 2017 the current stores that i'm running right now were both launched in 2019 obviously covid and everybody being from home helped drive our sales but on the same hand with international supply chain products being shipped from 
every country you can think of was very difficult. So we've had to step up our game and do a lot better with our supply chain forecasting and order inventory ordering, stuff like that. What would you say are the biggest lessons that you've learned about running your own online business for that many years? Biggest lessons that I've learned running my online businesses, you know, it, never getting too excited, too ahead of yourself. There's always a rogue wave. There's always something that you don't know and you don't know what you don't know. So obviously when I was younger, when we were in the house and we got a bunch of success as young 22, 23 year old kids, we thought we were on top of the world. And then the gut punches came. You can always learn more that can always be applied to your business. And the other, one of the biggest things that I've learned was, you know, it's not always about driving the most revenue. It's also decreasing your risk. So managing your risk from a legal perspective, from supply chain perspective, from if your entire livelihood and business is just driven by Facebook ads, you're you're one step away from everything falling apart. So yeah, I would agree. I would agree with that. I think that even our approach to marketing, it's we got this big wheel, right? And you have Facebook, you have all the socials, including LinkedIn. You have SEO, PPC. You have email. You have SMS. You have all these things that are working in conjunction with each other, and all cylinders have to be firing. Yes. Yes. You know, with perfect timing to make it to make it work. But if you get it down. You can continue to drive traffic, which drives higher lifetime value, repeat customers and everything else that goes along Mm -hmm. with that. If you just have one single stream and you think you're the best ever at Facebook ads, like guess what? Like Facebook ads really aren't that difficult. Creating the web and creating something sustainable that can keep going when something breaks, which inevitably something will break. Well, it's uh, my next question was going to be, do you believe that entrepreneurs are made or created and why? And I think that you had a need, right? You know, you recognized early on that Amazon was a great channel for you back when you were, you know, 15, 16 years old. So you started selling products there, but then you created this, this incubator and you were learning all the pieces and all the channels. It almost sounds like you guys decided that you were going to make yourselves into online entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Come hell or high water. Uh, sure. Would you, you suggest that other young people gather together and learn different skills mm-hmm. to to be online yes. kings? Yeah, so I would recommend to young people to uh, open up your direct sphere of influence, get a bunch of people that you can trust and learn together. If you're just totally closed off from the world, it's not. It's gonna be a lot harder. You need other people to learn. I, I would be nowhere if I didn't share what I knew as a young kid with other people. If other people didn't share with me what what they knew and people would be surprised if you pick up the phone if you call somebody that's older than you that's more experienced they're going to appreciate the fact that you're young hustling and want to get into entrepreneurship they're going to see a little bit of themselves in you and they're going to be they're going to be willing to help you a lot of people yeah. think that people are closed off and everything's a secret but that's it's really not true people are much more willing to help you and push you forward and see you succeed than you would think so I think that um, I think that it's a blend of entrepreneurs are made and also created because we've had we've had some of our best friends come into this e-commerce incubator that were definitely destined to be corporate people that would have been that would have succeeded very well in in the corporate life. We call and, those corporate uh, drones, for lack of a better term. Yes, <laughs> corporate <laughs> drones. And so we pulled them in, we showed them what they what we were doing, and they will they'll never go back after getting a taste of entrepreneurship. So I think it's a blend of entrepreneurship is is definitely financial freedom if you do things the right way. Right. So you're talking about a guy that's willing to give up an eight hour a day job to go do something that is going to be 12, 16, 18 hours a day, but to not have to answer to anyone but himself. Yeah. And I always tell people like, yes, I work way more than pretty much anybody I know, but I love it. So it it doesn't really, it doesn't feel like work 90% of the time because I'm actually having fun. And like when you're learning and uh, little pieces that you can add on to your business, when you're growing this baby of yours, that is your company, 
it's so it's so fun and it's so rewarding to see results, to see progress, and to see it run. Well, you made a you made a valid point earlier. I mean, obviously, I'm a little bit older than you. I still learn every day from my my contacts, my clients, from you know mm -hmm. people who call and say, "Hey, I think the system should do this. I think you should add that." It'll make it more intuitive. It'll make it more user friendly. You cannot walk around thinking that you know everything. The moment yep. you do, the moment is, it, that's the time you're going to fail. I've done, so, I've done it in in 2020. I 2019, 2020. I probably did 20 million in sales as a solopreneur. I didn't have a partner at the time. I thought I was on top of the world, and that made my 2021 Q2 through Q4 of 2021 and Q one of 2022 very difficult because i stopped learning i closed my mind and my revenue probably dropped 70 percent with facebook issues and all sorts of other things and that's what happens when your head gets the best of you that's right so let's i'm going to go back into this why did you decide to try checkout champ how did you hear about it first and then why did you decide to try to use it so I spoke at a conference down in Florida, a smaller conference. It's basically an e-com meetup with about 150 people. I spoke at a conference, and when I walked in, I saw a banner that said Checkout Champ. And I asked a couple of guys I knew there, what's, what's Checkout Champ? Like, what do they do? And they, they explained to me what it was, and it sounded like a much better system than what I was currently building on for my membership and funnel based stores. And once I got into Checkout Champ and saw all the features and customizations that I could do, it felt like it felt like all the restrictions were lifted and I could build how I wanted to build. And it, I, ever since then I've just kind of hit the ground running with it and I've brought a lot of my friends onto the platform as well. Wonderful. So, what were some of the problems that you were trying to solve before using Checkout Champ? Was there anything that was glaring that you're like, oh, I can't get over this hurdle because I don't have the ability to customize this or this functionality doesn't exist? What was what were some of the biggest things you were trying to solve for? So another company that I was at had like pretty much approved processing partners. And I, I have already pre-negotiated rates. I have great relationship with my processors and I couldn't bring the processors I wanted onto their platform. That was annoying. With Checkout Champ, you can make and customize your funnel however you want it, which was huge for me because I'm a very big guy on design and, and the creative flow of your website. So being able to customize 100% whatever I wanted and whatever I needed was a very big piece. With uh, the other companies that I've tried with services like this, it feels like you're handcuffed, like 60, 60, 65 percent is like the most you can do. And on Checkout Champ, I can build and customize literally anything that I need to, which and the way it integrates with everything, it's just been seamless for me. And not just seamless, but it sounds like limitless. You have limited, limitless yeah. possibilities to create as many funnels as you want, however you want to. Yes. And a, a Going back to the e-commerce incubator thing, I brought a lot of my friends on. They asked me, hey, what, what funnel are you running for this type of offer? How many funnels are you running for this type of offer? And I'm like, a, a hundred. And they're like, well, what, which one's working for the best for you? On Checkout Champ, I have a, a funnel ID that I can copy, send it to them in Skype. They can import it to their Checkout Champ, and boom, they have my full successful pre-built funnel. They edit their images, pictures, whatever they need to. And it just sped up his whole business by weeks of figuring things out. So it's been crazy. Were you using any other CMS platform before? Were you using like a Shopify front end or WooCommerce or anything like that? Or was it just funnel driven sales? Uh, I, was, I was Shopify. I've always been Shopify front end. And I actually still do Shopify front end with you guys. Mm -hmm. I use Checkout Champ for funnel selling for my checkout page if i wanted upsells on there and membership offer i use so collection based selling is what we've always been good at yeah. so collection based selling to a checkout champ checkout page membership offer upsells whatever you need on that obviously everybody knows with shopify your checkout page you can't customize it even if you give them 25 grand a month or whatever it is for shopify plus you still can't do what you need 
But yeah. with Checkout Champ, you can do what you need. They're not going to pull your chain every which way. And it just makes things a lot easier. Excellent. What were the top three changes that you noticed when you started working with Checkout Champ or started using it on your stores? Did you see, for instance, your conversion rates increase? Did you see your AOVs increase? What, what were some of the major changes that you experienced? So one thing that I love that I think a lot of other people overlook is just checking on my funnel the customer journey through the funnel. So they build their cart on my Shopify front end store and then they go into the funnel and I, for every step of the funnel, you have a conversion rate percentage. So you can make changes day to day and get a direct look into the, did those changes increase the conversion rate to the next page? My entire business model changed when I switch over uh, to Checkout Champ. You know, I fought tooth and nail for 10 to 15% margin for seven, eight, nine years. Switching over to Checkout Champ allowed me to now really focus on upsells, really focus on offers, really focus on building out my membership program. And with the upsells, we all know that that's going to increase your margin right away. With a membership program, that's going to increase your margin right away. So my my profit margin now is up 150% from before I touched Checkout Champ. And on top of that, every step of, of the way through the customer journey in the Checkout Champ funnels, I can tell the conversion rate, the route to next page percentage, and make changes and adjustments accordingly to keep get that number up and make the stores and funnels more successful. You, you have way more of an insight into the customer journey and the little tweaks and changes that need to be made on Checkout Champ than any other platform. You said something earlier that I want to go back to. You're able to run as many checkouts and as many funnels as you want to on one Checkout Champ. Yes. How amazing is that? It's insane. The value that we get for the checkout champ fee is insane. Being able to, I mean, I launched 10 funnels plus a day. If I had a more of a team built out, I have a friend who launches 50, 60, 70 funnels every single day. So everybody on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, their battle is creatives and funnels and testing when you are on checkout champ and you can duplicate your funnel out change the images change the products and boom you have you you have a new funnel which means you have a new ad to test so as many times as you can duplicate and change that funnel is how many ads you have to test for that day so most people get stuck because all, my ad died on facebook like i need to go find a new winner but if you're proactive and you're making two, three, 10 funnels a day. You'll never run out of creatives for, for Facebook. You'll never run out of offers and you can fully customize and tailor them. So there, there's just no excuse for not driving sales and increasing your profit margin and increasing the, the lifespan of your business. And one of my buddies right now, he just got on a checkout champ about a month and a half ago. and I had to, I've had to tell him over and over, like, dude, you can, you can duplicate that funnel 10 times tonight, change the products, change the pictures, and you've 10 more ads to test on Facebook tomorrow morning. And if one of those ads catches on Facebook, you're good for a month, for three months, however long it lasts. If you yeah. duplicate it, if you do 10 a day, you'll never, you'll never run out of sales. You'll just keep on driving traffic and sales. Wow. What do you think your biggest challenge was with switching over to Checkout Champ? The biggest challenge to switching over to Checkout Champ for me was probably just learning a new system, shifting my mindset from a straight sale collection, average order value frame of mind. What, what are your thoughts on your Checkout Champ account manager and our support team? Yeah. So my, my rep at Checkout Champ has been awesome the entire time. I actually reached out to you to let you know that uh, my rep has been 
uh, paramount to my success over at Checkout Champ. He has helped me and held my hand every step of the way. He's given me pointers and tips. And whenever I had a question, I could reach out to him on Skype, what seems like 16 hours a day. And he gets back to me anywhere from 30 seconds to, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. So being able to have that resource, a direct account representative, has been huge for learning a new UI UX, which obviously comes with some complications. And if anything that I needed custom code wise, I could open a support ticket. And typically within a few hours, they'll have a coding team on my account, helping me with whatever I wanted to get done, which is crazy. Awesome. Let me just use this as a qualifier right now. We do offer Skype, Slack, Telegram, WhatsApp, Messenger as ways to communicate with our account management team. You can call them, you can email them. So we make our, our team highly accessible. So would you recommend Checkout Champ to other e-com store owners? I know you're talking about your friends, but we're talking about the, the stratosphere of people that are out there that haven't heard of Checkout Champ or they're interested, but they haven't pulled the trigger yet. Would you recommend... <laughs> Check out Champ to other e-com store owners. Yes. So part of the benefit to having this e-commerce incubator and tight group of friends is every single product, every single company out there, we've had multiple guys test. And there's a reason why the 10, 12 of us are now all on Checkout Champ. If you haven't heard of it, if you have heard of it but haven't looked at it, I highly recommend signing up on their website, apply for a demo. So you can learn about all of the features and everything that it can do for your business. Awesome. Ryan, I told you to be quick and painless. Have yourself a great weekend. Thanks for taking the time. And if you need anything, let us know. Cool. Yeah. Let me know when that conference date is and I'll, I'll be out there. I will. Thank you. All right. Yep. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. Bye.